Are you pumped? I'm pumped. <laughs> good. Well, Let's good go. luck. Coming up in episode three of the rewrap. Jimmy White taking on the rocket in her ultimate Masters mind quiz. Ronnie O'Sullivan talks about his Masters memories of yesteryear. And we have a laugh with outtakes from Andy and the lads. We haven't stopped. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, the things you're about to see will just prove how much of a laugh and a joke we have when we work uh, with each other, don't we, Jim? I'm just saying, like, you know, we always... Remember when we went crawling in Northern Ireland? Like, loads of banter on the set. Must have been my day off. But if your brother's ever not about and you need Jimmy, I mean, we could give him the night off again if you want him in your corner. Yeah, yeah, you can come in here as well. You can uh, do two jobs. Yeah? <laughs> well, you say two. I mean, he does half here. So <laughs> you know, he said he's been having a drink this week, been enjoying himself. And, you know, and sometimes you do need that liver to relax you, and he looks like he needs it now. Well, he's gone 50 minutes without a pot. How on earth... What you going to say about a pint? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, th I, th I think I think he's done a miracle to get this far. There's no way I would have been able to do a 147. Well, let, last week. let me ask you this. So you sat on this couch on Monday, right? You were yeah. quite down. You were quite um, bored with the game. You, you didn't it. like it, it, right? It. You're, you're in a lot of pain, right? You talked about retiring. Mm. You actually said that if it wasn't in your backyard, you wouldn't have probably even played. How much have you changed your mind now? Are you enjoying the game again? 22 and a half, glad. <laughs> 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 well done. What are you going to do now? Well, you're a policeman. I've got, I've got the daughter's nativity play I've got to rush back to the half past six yeah. she's singing at the nativity play so. well done mate Jimmy. oh dear are you warm enough? I'm too cold man you don't understand you know what I mean coming to Glasgow it's like minus ten out of here come on you know how it is that's how we southerners do you know what I'm saying I had a new tip on yesterday um, the guys at Century Q-Tips did a great job but you know these things need bedding in you know, the guys at Century Q-Tips, they've produced some, some fantastic products and, um, you know, they don't need much bedding in time, but you still do need a little bit of time. But like I say, with these guys at Century Q-Tips, yeah. um, but we are lucky with these guys because they've, like mm. I said, they've produced a fantastic product. What was the name of the cube? No, I'm <laughs> Um, I, I was told by Phil Stun actually a choice that uh, he's going to have to make is similar to one that I imagine you decided but you took the, the route of snooker player but uh, his mum wants him to be a model so it's model or snooker player now you had that option as well but you went snooker player there's no need for that <laughs> and uh, actually there was, a, there was a funny moment of course uh, early on when you were using the, uh, the swan um, I remember Ronnie accidentally oh. touched the red and didn't know about it did you know you touched the red there? I don't know it was yeah <laughs> Just too many beers. That, that was one. incredible. Are you pumped? I'm pumped. <laughs> Good. Welcome, gentlemen, to our Master's Mind quiz. So you got your buzzers. Jimmy, go first. Policeman in the house. Okay. You ready? Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. In what year did the Masters begin? 76. When you're out? 77. 75. <laughs> One for Jimmy. So, uh, who won the first Masters? Jimmy. John Spencer. Yes. Well done. Question three. The first 29 Master tournaments were sponsored by which? In yes, Ronnie. The Paul Hunter Trophy is made from crystal, named after which Irish city? Ronnie? More for crystal. Yes. Well done. You, you knew it, Jimmy, really. How many times has the Masters final gone to a final frame decider? Nine times. No. How many questions, how many answers can he have? Like Twelve times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jimmy, go now. Six times. You can try again. Six times. No. <laughs> Twelve times. <laughs> One less. Eleven times. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't do that. What's that all about? Press your point, Jimmy. Give me a look. I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> Who ended Stephen Henry's twenty? Mac Manus. Well done. Well done. What was it that memorably interrupted the 1997 final? Yes. Jimmy, I hope you know this one. And what year did Jimmy White win his one and only Masters? 84. 
Yes. And in '86, I was in the book. <laughs> I was. His own questions up now. I was in the balls, and uh, I was on 40 odd, and last, and I touched the white, and I declared no one see. And Cliff Forber and Slippery slipped in, slipped away with all the prize money and a trophy. But I'm fine about it. Really? No. <laughs> You've not forgotten it though, have you? <laughs> okay, moving on. Paul Hunter enacted his famous plan B to come from behind and beat who? Tony O'Brien. Yes, Ronnie. Who won the Masters on his debut in 2008? Mark Selby. How many 147 breaks have been made in the tournament's history? Four. It's open. Three. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Who has appeared in the most finals? Uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's, going to, he's beside you. <laughs> in what year did Mark Williams beat Stephen Hendry on a re-spotted flag? 2000. 2002. 1999. 8, 8, uh, 2004. No. 1999. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, a long time ago. 20 stretches ago. Wow. Right, finally, lads. Ahead of the 2005 Masters, Jimmy White. Change his name. Yeah. Change brand. Devastating. Got that brand. Get up out for that dude. <laughs> so, who won? Gosh, what are you talking about? <laughs> Seven five. Got exactly. beat again. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> well done, guys. Don't ring me. I'll ring you. So welcome to our Masters Memories. I'm quite excited about this. Yeah, me too. Oh, what was that? Sure. What was that? <laughs> yeah. Oh dear, what a haircut. Chubby cheeks on you. Chubby cheeks, mate. 1994. I was at my debut, mm. yeah, I remember I, I lost to uh, Dennis Taylor at the conference centre. Paul Hunter, 2004. Such a loss. Talent. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. What a, what a player, what a person. Fantastic, you know, he made that tournament his own, you know, won it three times and it was not just winning it, but it's the way he won it, you know, mm. coming from behind and great memories, you know. And his hair. And the hair, yeah. This hair. Uh, yeah. Long, long hair what there. were you thinking? I was just someone said to me, Oh, you think you should grow your hair and this and that, and once you start growing it, you sort of like you're scared to cut it. Um, but I went from this to this, and I remember why. Well, you I can remember tell me why. Why? Because we're looking at a yeah. shaved, tight haircut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I lost to Maguire in a, in a match, and I just I had this long hair, and he had this short, and he just bullied me, bullied me off the table, really. And I thought the hair's got to go. So I thought I had to kind of <laughs> get a bit more alpha male. This one, I remember this one. This was, um, I was like really fit then. I was training really hard. It was 2009, that's it, yeah, 2009. Special moment with your mum? Yeah, I mean, she, she doesn't come to many matches, but you know, when it's like the Masters, the UK and the world, she always come and it's always nice to, um, it's always nice when my mum's at the final, especially, you know, it's nice. Gorgeous. Look at another hook. Ah, yeah. look at Jimmy. <laughs> 2010, that one. Yeah, that's Barry and Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. What do you think he's saying to you? Um, nice one, son. Keep it up. Good for the game. Viewing figures are up. Snooker's never been in a better place. That was a great. Oh. That was probably my, one of my best tournaments that I've ever played from start to finish. Yeah. Yeah, I remember going into the tournament not feeling good about my game, and then. I love that picture. Probably some of my best ever snooker, and then to have Lily and Ronnie there, oh, who so obviously cute. didn't know much of what's going on, but they just, they can see their dad's happy, so they're happy. I know, know. so lovely. Yeah. 2017. Look yeah. at the face, right? 2017, yeah, that's such a heavy trophy. Yeah. I knew it was heavy, so like, I'm picking it up, I'm thinking like, you know. What? Be strong, be strong, it's heavy, you don't want to drop it. 